Hello, I'm CJ Wellerman. Please don't forget to subscribe to our show. Now let's get into it. It's impossible to fully understand what it feels like to be discriminated against based on your race or religion until a related negative experience happens to you. But if you're not identifiably Muslim, then you'll never know the challenges Muslims endure in non-Islamic countries. For instance, you will never comprehend the harassment and discrimination Muslims endure while having to navigate their way through an airport or catch a flight in North America or Europe if you're not identifiably Muslim. But you've seen the headlines. Good evening, everyone. A local couple says they are the victims of anti-Muslim profiling and they filed a complaint against Delta Airlines. Tonight, a Muslim woman is claiming that she is the victim of discrimination after Port Authority police took her off a plane in handcuffs at Newark Airport. This is just the tip of the iceberg, because harassment begins at the moment Muslims arrive at the airport, where they are subjected to extra screenings, pat-downs, and sometimes even strip searches. These experiences leave Muslims feeling vulnerable and targeted, which is not only emotionally taxing, but can also be physically exhausting. I know this because several years ago, more than 400 Muslims shared with me their harrowing experiences in dealing with the irrational fear and suspicion of airport security while flying in non-Muslim majority countries. One of those I spoke with was British Muslim filmmaker Nouri Sadar, who told me how he had been randomly selected at the airline gate for a secondary physical search on every single one of the 15 transatlantic flights he has taken from London to the United States. Many also told me how they go to extraordinary lengths to conceal their Muslim identity before arriving at the airport, like shaving their beard or removing their hijab or wearing visibly American attire. While others talked about being harassed by border control officers who asked racist and insulting questions, like how do you feel about ISIS or Al-Qaeda or 9-11? Now, as non-Muslims, we shouldn't underestimate how stigmatizing and unpleasant it is to have to go through this every single time, to have everyone looking at you and thinking that you're a terrorist. But even once they've dealt with the harassment from airline check-in staff, airport security officers and border control agents, Muslims are often targeted with verbal abuse and hate speech once aboard the flight. They are often removed or even arrested for merely making non-Muslim passengers feel uncomfortable. In the Paris airport ruined a trip to London and Paris to celebrate their 10th wedding anniversary. They are not the first Muslims kicked off planes because people just felt uncomfortable about their presence. Look, I'm a strong believer in the idea that comedy or humor is often the most effective tool for highlighting absurdities that underpin systemic injustices and biases, because eliciting laughter is a highly effective means to frame human rights issues in a more emotional and human context. Comedy can also expose how racial or cultural minorities are exploited and repressed by those holding social and racial privileges. And we also know that positive political and social change flows directly from creating awareness and mobilizing collective outrage. So with that in mind, I'm going to share with you three comedic takes that will help non-Muslims better understand the systemic discrimination Muslims endure every time they travel on business or visit loved ones in faraway places. This first video exposes the racist absurdity that underpins the logic of racial profiling at the airport. The lamp wasn't there before. <laughs> the lamp, bro, that's the one. And they changed the paint still. Have you two been in here before? <laughs> <laughs> what is the purpose of your visit to Marrakesh? Basically, one of our boys is getting married and we're going to Marrakesh to do his stag do, but obviously we keep it halal. Hashtag halal, bro. Can you both please remove your shoes? Already, Already done, done it. Not just shoes, bro. Come, come on, come on. It's not just that, is it? Laptops, oh. belts, phones. Oh, chewing gum. Oh, yeah, of course, chewing gum, bro. <sighs> Have you ever had any trouble with the police? I'm already buying it, bro. What's your name? Toby. Toby, do me a favor, yeah? Um, when you say that, just say it with a bit more aggression so we get a little bit scared, you know what I mean? Yeah, like with good posture and that. Have you ever had any trouble with the police? That yes! Was good, that like was. that. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, do you have suspicious items in your bag? Do you have any links with terrorism? Do you know how to make a bomb? Do you know ISIS? Bro, to save you some time, I got a PDF copy with all the answers on my phone. I can just send it to you right now if you want. Or I got a printed copy. Which, Which one, one do you want? want? Uh, I, I don't know. 
Take, take both, bro. Take, take both. both. Come Here on. There you go, bro. Take it, take it. He's a smart He's guy. He's good, man. He's, He's a nice guy. He'll go He's far. He's a nice guy. Right. I mean, this all checks out. You're, you're free to go. Hey. Oh, uh, I do apologise, though, but you have actually missed your two o'clock flight. Ah, oh, Toby. Why are you apologising to us for, man? Our flight is at two o'clock tomorrow, not today, silly. Tomorrow? Why did you check in for your flight 24 hours early? <laughs> bruv. Bruv. Come on, mate. Come on, bruv. Obvs. See this? <laughs> obviously, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> yeah. Not a tan, my friend. Nice one. Yeah. Uh, we'll send you the next brand, boys, yeah? Yeah, please do. But before we go on, we urgently need your help to expose and counter injustices in the Muslim world. So please consider supporting me at patreon.com slash CJ You'll be helping me bring these stories to a wider audience. Thank you. Now back to our show. This second video exposes how Muslims are made to feel uncomfortable by passengers and security personnel at the airport. Traveling is a big topic for Muslim comedians because we have to go to the airport looking like this. Okay, let me tell you something right now. It's really weird to me that people are scared of me in an airport. Because if you really think about it, I'm the most scared guy in the airport. I'm most likely to get shot over a misunderstanding in an airport. I roll up to the, the TSA thing, like my heart is already racing, man. I put my bag in the conveyor belt. There's a little voice in my head like, oh my God, what's gonna happen now? What's gonna happen now? Then I start arguing with myself. Nothing's gonna happen now, stupid. There's nothing in your bag. Yeah, but still. It's a good point, it's a good point. I start getting nervous, man. They got scary signs in the airport. I'm sure you've seen them, right? If you see something, say something. It's a pretty ambiguous set of instructions. If you see something, say something. I'm in the airport, man. your nerves at the gate. Oh no, the US government thought it was a good idea to put a TV screen at every boarding gate in America showing 24-7 news coverage of CNN. Scary <laughs> right now. I was just minding my business at the gate trying to chill out. There was a TV screen above my head showing an ISIS beheading. Everybody at the gate looking at ISIS, looking at me. Looking at ISIS, looking at me. ISIS me. I just want to be like, I didn't do it. I'm in Chicago with you. Look, it says live. It's happening right now. How can it be? Damn, it says recorded earlier. It could be me. Hypothetically, be you ready? Stop me. And by the way, if it is me, you have bigger problems. I'm already at the gate. And this final video shows the typical kind of harassment Muslims undergo while aboard their flight. Everything will be fine, inshallah. Yeah, inshallah, inshallah. Okay. Salaam alaikum. Ah! Yo, Momo, uh, we have a pair of Muslims on the plane. Are you f***ing serious? Get him! Oh, can I actually have an unopened can? Why, do you have something planned? Wow, the, the jets are right next to our window. Is this safe here? Uh, I don't know. Get him! Ah! Miss, do you have a snack bar? What did you just say? La Lock bar? No, enough is enough! I didn't have it with these motherfucking Muslims 
on this motherfucking plane. It's a snack bar, I swear. Everyone strap in. Please, I'm about to open some fucking windows. Obviously, not all Muslims are treated unfairly when traveling by air, but the reality is there is a disproportionate amount of scrutiny placed on them, and the media needs to start having open and honest conversations about the impact this is having on the Muslim community. So the next time you're flying and you see a Muslim passenger, remember that they are just like any other traveler and they deserve to feel safe and respected during their journey. Let's work together to create a more inclusive and welcoming travel environment for all. Anyway, that's my time for today. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and we kindly ask you please support this endeavor by becoming a member of this show at patreon.com slash CJ Wellman. We can't produce, sustain and grow this show without your help and we offer exclusive benefits to those who do. But for now, good night, good morning, wherever you are and stay blessed.